Greetings everyone, it is I, Iris Trekkie, coming to you with the Expanse Rocinante ship. Um, this ship was, I got it recently from uh, the Loot Vault um, and got it pretty cheaply, I think it was like a Black Friday sale. Um, so big shout out to uh, Michael for giving me the heads up. Um, I did post a link to it in the Facebook group as well. Uh, hopefully you got one if you didn't have one already, but I think you can pick them up on eBay and stuff like that as well. But um, just to put it out there, I love the Expanse. I I I I, I just kind of really got into it. Um, I've never read the books, um, but I'm hanging off because um, I want to see how the show handles it as well. So uh, I'm glad that it's still out there. But um, in true kind of like Star Trek fashion, the the ship itself has kind of been embodied with its own personality and is quite vital to uh, the show itself. But um, this is a, kind of like a bit of a diorama, uh, which is kind of the first type I, first I have ever gotten as well. So let's take her out, we'll do a little bit of an unbox and we'll have a quick look at it. So we'll just put that off to one side and there's a top cover to this. Dun, 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 dun. So here we have our back piece. A few air bubbles in here as well, but uh, I'm not really too concerned with that, to be honest with you. So uh, definitely Jupiter, because this is all based in uh, the solar system in the in the future, not too distant future. And you have a nice, ugh, nice kind of blue trim base there with the Expanse logo. In there too so let's put that over here Um, I'm teasing you I'm leaving the shuttle to last the shuttle even the Rosinante uh, or MCRN craft how does this even go in one second dun, 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 dun. there we go now it's working so they go in specifically so there's a tall one in the box, these look like they were transparent, but in this one, they're black. And let's check out our Rossinante. So, this is really beaten up. <laughs> look at all the, 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 the impacts from uh, ammunition. Uh, it's definitely seen its fair share. Um, you can see the engine thundering through there as well. So it's a little bit kind of transparent. Um, with a little bit of a central mass in there as well, so it could catch the light pretty well. Um, but it's all plastic. Uh, but it's got it's got a, it's solid. Got a bit of heft to it. There's your mounting points as well, so they kind of come at an angle. Um, or front antennae. Could do it a bit of a maybe a bit of a heat treatment there. So this is what it looks like when it's clean, <laughs> and this is what it looks like after it's been in a bit of a bust up. To be honest with you, um, overall. I think it's pretty nifty, to be honest with you. So kind of the decals on it are pretty crisp. We have our uh, our gas emblem. So uh, what was it again? Uh, Bertrand's gas, I think it was. Um, so this is dressed up to be a hauler rather than a, a warship from the MCRN fleet. But uh, it, this just danced on the screen when the 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 kind of orbital. And maneuvering engines were kind of thrown around and again because Newtonian uh, physics was a big part of it you know to kind of when it was burning you know it was always going to gain speed because of lack of friction but it always had to flip around and do a burn and then again the G's would be felt in and then they had like the magnetic boots and stuff like that as well Um, very very cool to see it being portrayed like that on the show but I now have my very own Rocinante um, Price wise, I think delivered and all, um, I think it was around, oh, I think it was around $12 delivered as well. Um, I think I picked it up for like $3 plus, plus shipping. Um, so when you do the Euro and all that jazz, it comes out pretty nicely. Hello. So it kind of sits slightly off kilter, which is actually interesting. So kind of shows her like that which I actually kind of dig and um, that's pretty cool I think, that, I think that's very good value for money and um, if you can pick them up on the cheap I think you'd be very happy with this so 
there is the Rossinante from The Expanse. And this is the Loot Crate exclusive, as it says on the box as well. So uh, check out lootvault.com. Um, not affiliated. I have no links uh, for kickbacks or anything like that. Or check them out. I know a few people got them up on eBay as well. And uh, I know there's a few people out there that are going to be painting these into the MCRN colors as well. Which I look forward to seeing across the social media web. But anyway, we'll leave it at that. Um, I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to check out the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages. And uh, you can support me on YouTube and or uh, Patreon as well. All the links are in the doobly-doo down below. And as always, I will see you folks in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye. <laughs>